is a lag, so maybe you haven't even heard me say hi yet. Hi from the future. The jar makes them think of Pooh. That's cute. Pooh the bear. Oh, just now I went live to everybody else. That's crazy. Just get started right away. How about, how's it going? How's your weekend? It's almost over. Can't believe it's Sunday. It's kind of throwing me. I wish I could show you guys this new setup because we've been doing this. Oh my God. How long have we been doing this? A while. And we've been saying for a long time, hey, we gotta get a better setup because it's too jumpy or jostly or whatever. And like now, if you can imagine like when you go to the doctor and you have like, not you, the doctor is like one of those rolly things that has like a spot for the laptop. It's kind of like that, but also the spot for the iPad, which is right here. Aw, thanks Mia. So it's really cool, hopefully this, um, helps us out because I can see the chat which is really nice so I don't have to like shout at Meg every time and ask her <laughs> what people are saying. I can have a recipe right up here which is really nice. Um, oh hey Janelle. Also I have to get used to the camera is over here so if I'm looking this way it's because I'm kind of looking at myself because it's hard not to because I'm trying to make sure I'm in frame. All right I think the title of the video Yep. So today we're making homemade kitty treats. Um, I was really curious if I could try these, um, but I'm putting this in there. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe while it's cooking, I will Google if humans can eat catnip or not. I don't know. I've eaten a milk bone before, so why not catnip? All right, so these are called Carrot and Catnip Kitty Cat Treats. It is from, give me a second, Epicure Cloud. I'm gonna copy, look at this. I'm gonna copy this, put it right in the chat. Boom. Okay. Um, scroll back down. So they look really cute because there's like a picture with the recipe and they kind of look like little Captain Crunches. <laughs> oh, is it really? Oh, okay. All right, I, I might be eating one of these. I have a sneaking suspicion that my eldest child will not like these at all, and my youngest one will inhale them. So we'll see. They're supposed to keep up in the freezer for like three months, so that's super cool. Or you can keep them in the fridge for like a couple days, I think it said. Who's ready to get started? All right, so ingredients. You need oil. You can use coconut oil or olive oil. I have coconut oil. Flour. Um, it says use whatever flour your cat can have because I think sometimes they can have an allergy to that. Um, they used oat. I just have regular flour. Apparently Meg told me to get oat and my ears neglected to hear that. So we have regular all-purpose flour. Um, optional is dried catnip. We're doing it. We're all in. An egg and then cold water. That's it. Seems pretty simple, but I have ruined things that should be simple. Also, Ladybird Trex, hi. First live video, welcome. Okay, let's see. First step, preheat oven to 375, which fun fact, I was a little worried because I was like, do I get refined coconut oil? Do I get unrefined coconut oil? Unrefined has, I think a higher smoke point but it has more of a coconut flavor. And I was like, what if the cats don't like that? So I went with refined 
and then on this little bottle it says smoke point up to 375 so I guess we're good either way because that's as high as we're going. Jen, good afternoon. It's evening here. Okay, 375. Let that go. Okay, line a baking sheet. Parchment paper. I didn't prep that, so get ready for lots of loud noise. One second. Coming back, I swear. I'm still here. Don't leave. Ooh. Nikki, I'm gonna need you around for every video because those are some good tips. I do have a food processor and I do have oats. Mag is oh, she ran to the bathroom. That's where she went. She'll be here, don't worry. I'm gonna make sure. And all my kitties are very fun. Why do they roll this stuff? You can lay it down and it rolls up. That's gonna work for now. It's fine. Oh, can you guys see on top of the fridge? Yes, that is the famous popcorn holder that we waited five hours in line for and now it's totally sold out and they're not even on the sign at the stand that you get them at anymore so I have no regrets at all because it's super cute all right in a medium bowl hold on I'm actually gonna get my carrot my carrots ready first I need three-fourths cup of finely shredded carrots I know this is way too many but I want snacks during the week too, so I'm just going to start peeling some of this. Yes, that is Cinderella's castle on her counter. It's a cookie jar. Sadly, there are no cookies in it, but it's a cookie jar. Use this to catch my scrapings. I wish that instead of like three fourths cup finely shredded carrot, they would say like that will be about two medium carrots or whatever it is. Because then I'm like, well, how many am, how many should I peel? <gasps> Kelsey, yes, I could. You're right. kitchen tour uh, uh maybe the kitchen actually um is an okay shape today it wasn't this morning hey people are asking about you hello um who asked for who asked for a kitchen tour christine wants a kitchen tour um <laughs> it's kind of this is everything <laughs> it kind of is yeah we live in an apartment, so it's pretty small. They could see, I didn't realize, I forgot that this is a little bit bigger, but they can see oh, pigment. Oh, so they can see pigment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kelsey said that we could put cat treats in Cinderella's castle. We could. Right. I wish it was airtight. I know. I know. Like, it's a cookie jar. It should be airtight, right? I really want a cake pop. I'm going to get one. Okay, so for finely shredded this side, I would do that. Okay, so we've got this cool like little because this is like grater. grated. Yeah, that's true. It says finely shredded. Mama Petrus is not here right now, but she is actually coming back down very soon, um, and she's bringing one of her friends with her. 
Which is gonna be really exciting for her because she promised me a short visit this time. <laughs> I'm kidding, I love her, but she, but she did. She, say that. She's like, I promised you guys I'd only come for a weekend. She like, like obviously we like our space, right? But we obviously also like her being here. Um, but like at no point were we ever like, no, get out. But I think that she she always thinks worries that, that she's taking up too much of her, taking up too much of our time, whatever yeah. that's supposed to mean. Um, she's being a mom, just trying to give us space. Um, okay, how much actually? Oh, how much does this hold? Look at this, three fourths cup. <laughs> that's what you need. Yeah, nice. I'm thinking. Also, this is really cool. I don't remember where we got it, but it has like you put this right on top. Didn't we get that for our wedding? And then it has this like silicone stuff so it doesn't slide. And then it has a lid for this. It's if you from have Target. extras. It's from Target. It's cool. I really like it. And it has a bunch of different shredding sizes. So I'm just gonna start with one carrot and then go from there. Can you uh, keep an eye on that so I don't shred my hand? Like I always do. Oh, comments? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna need more than one. Did carrot. Katie tell you guys about our new contraption that we have? Yeah, a little. I was telling them it was like that thing at the doctor. <laughs> I said I, I really wish like I could it. show you. It looks really cool. I guess you could like take a picture and hold the picture up to that. But then you would see the messy box that I used that it came in. Oh, what a... These people are our friends, Meg. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> We're not clean people. I'm not here to pretend we are. This is Check what it looks out. Like. Does anybody else always shred their knuckles at some point in time when they're using one of these things? Because I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't add yourself into your tree. <laughs> I know. While I do this, allow me to complain about... Uh, something that happened. Um, the too. measuring box came with the grater. It was like all in one. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Katie eats a carrot. I eat a cake pop. <laughs> um, it's really close, but I don't know. Actually, that's probably perfectly enough. No, that's less. That's like half a cup, dude. Whatever. I would pack it. I would do like a packed three fourth cup. Yes, babe. I'm thirsty. Me too, but I have to drink more water because I did not drink enough today. Okay, so I like to do drive up at Target because it's easy and simple and whatever. What's wrong, babe? There's nothing to drink. Are you looking for something fizzy? Oh, we have ginger ale. We have ginger ale and Sprite. What? Spe spe special gloves. Special gloves so you don't shred your knuckles. Genius. Did you sneeze on this? Oh. Lovely. Or does anybody else's cats have respiratory, like, like sneezy really issues? issues? Iggy has sneezy issues and he's been kind of sick the past couple of days. He's been really sick the last couple of days. To the point where I've actually been a little bit nervous and like maybe we should take him to the vet, but I think he's I clearing up. I know. It's always right when I get very scared the next day. He's like, totally what's up, fine. moms? How's it going? He's fine. And this is like a constant revolving thing that he has. So like, I know it's not anything new or different. Yeah. It's just, I want to make sure that he's able to breathe. Janelle says her cat is snoring issues. Our kitties don't snore. Occasionally Iggy will, but like not loud. Zesters are a weapon, you're totally right. <laughs> but anyway. So actually, the vet did suggest maybe he has asthma. Yeah. Um, But we have to uh, take him back. So we decided we don't like the vet we were going to. Yeah, so we're going to switch. And, but we have gone to another vet down here that we really did like. This other one, it, it's just, it was a circumstance, but... Um, anyway. <laughs> a circumstance. Iggy ate yarn. <laughs> <laughs> Iggy ate yarn and had to go get an x-ray. That's what happened. <sighs> yeah, I mean, he needed it at a certain time. Oh, also his eye got all messed up that one time, remember? Yeah. That was scary. 
Um, so anyway, I placed an order at Target for this stuff. And they tell me my order is mostly ready. And I was like, what does that mean? So I look at it and then they tell me, oh, this item is out of stock. Even though it was in stock when I ordered it, whatever. And it was the carrots. And I was like, well, I need the carrots. It looks like I have like circles where my boobs are, but like I don't. I'm just confused. Is there like a pattern? It's it's in the hoodie. It's just weird. weird. I was like, it looks like I have a weird bra on. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Swish and Play. So then I had to place another order for a different type of carrots because I picked organic for the first one. Then I had to ask for these. Then, because there's an egg in this recipe. I put eggs on there and I go to pick it up. This, they load your groceries into your car for you. And I asked them to put it in the trunk. This kid threw my groceries into the trunk, smashed my eggs. I saw Katie's face as he was putting them in and I was like, why is she like scared? And then he was throwing he, like, our food. He closed it and she's like, there were eggs in there. I don't think they survived. <laughs> they did not survive. Nope, they did not. So, I mean, we've said on the app, like, hey, damaged, and I got a refund, but still, it's like, just stripes. Now I have to deal with gooey egg and... Don't. Teddy is so happily sleeping on his heated mat. <laughs> this is a very nutritious for me thing that I'm making. By the way, that's my grape for today. It was annoying, man. Also, I had this coconut oil, which is in a glass container. And it's not like my trunk was empty. I have like a cart back there and stuff. Like, what if it hit it wrong? He totally threw smashed. it on top of the metal cart. He threw everything in there. Is this enough? I think so. Or did you do more? No, that's good. Okay. Yeah, we did get refunded. It's just like an annoyance. Yeah, it's just like dumb at this point like thanks yeah yeah okay i'm not crazy like what are these circles they're like seriously right over my boobs right here <laughs> it's it's quilted so like it's supposed to have diamonds but like what is this no circles i've never seen that before is it on both sides no i think it's just on the side So I skipped a step because I wanted to get that ready. So in a medium bowl, add oil and mix in one cup of flour until mixture looks sandy. Okay. Yeah, sorry to bring attention to my house. Love you guys. Bowl. No, it's not a security tag. Why am I so concerned? I don't care. It's fine. Hold on, I'm gonna look. <laughs> Two tablespoons of oil. And in my case, again, I have coconut oil. I keep trying to find the little ridge. I don't know. I just want to say, yes, it is cold enough here today to be it's wearing something today. like this. I had to wear a hat and gloves. I was I run this morning. literally sitting on the couch like <laughs> this with a blanket over me. So, like, Meg is like a, she's a hot body. She has sweatpants on. Do you have a t-shirt? I don't. I just have this still, sweater on. But still, like, this isn't normal. No, I have, like, literal sweatpants. <laughs> well, that technically is some sort of sweatpants. And I have sandals on because I am old and have to wear shoes in my kitchen because it's too hard. And it's cold. Okay. Two. I'm just making it two tablespoons of oil. Coconut oil is so weird. We are making homemade. Should I melt it? Is that still it's sandy? I'm mixing with flour. Or olive oil. I don't think you have to. But how will that mix? Um. I think I could melt Fable it. Fable and Feast says no. Don't melt it. Don't melt it. The temp is in the 40s today in Orlando, which I realize for some is not that cold, but. Let me tell you, it's cool. That's a 
does not do anything. That's not really a full tablespoon. I mean, I'm just saying. Use your fingers. Like when we make crumble topping for apple uh, pies. Who said that? Okay. Fable and Peace. See, Nikki was helping me out before. Now Fable and Peace is in on it. I don't like how it feels. Can't she use this to cook eggs? I just want to say that, like, the lag is not very much right now, and I am appreciating it. It's warmer in Seattle! That's, That's crazy. Flower. Yeah, it was, like, 44 this afternoon when Katie picked me up from work at 3 o'clock, which is, like, Ooh. normally just when it has, like, hit its highest temperature of the day and, like, starts going back down again. So, like, truly we were in the 40s all day today, which is pretty insane for this time of year. Usually we're, like, in the 50s right now. Um, but it's just so weird because, like, a couple days ago we were in the 80s and <laughs> now we're in the 40s. It's just, like, fluctuating so much lately. Um, Nikki said that you can ground oats and make oat flour. Would you prefer me do that? It's fine. Okay. I mean, we do have oats, though. I know. What do you think? What would you rather children eat? I don't know. I guess I just usually go like oat stuff when it comes to Iggy because like we did feed him like grain free for so long, but I guess we haven't really done that. We haven't. So I guess he's fine. Want to, I don't care. He, we fed him grain free for a long time, but then um, the vet suggested that we feed both of the boys this urinary food, and it's not grain free. And he's been fine though. Fine. So I guess I, I'm fine with either way. I had flour this time, friends. Kendra, I also truly do love this weather. I at Starbucks today, I was in the window, so I was like passing out orders at drive through. Um, and I was thriving in the cold. The people, there was this one person, it was kind of annoying actually, but they like, they came up and they kept putting their window up in between me, like handing things out to, to them. So like, I would like have something ready and I would just like turn to hand it to them and I'd have to like stand there and wait for them to put their window down. It went so freaking slow. It wasn't that cold. No, though. it is not that cold. I'm like, you can survive for five minutes with your window down. It was not that cold. Yeah, it was like seven degrees or something in Cleveland, I think my mom said. And they got like five more inches of snow today, which is insane. I'm like, I like looking at pictures of snow and I like deciding that I want to go see snow. Mm -hmm. But I like being able when I want to, decide. to not have snow. It's not turning sandy. Just keep, Katie, you've been doing it for like two seconds. My fingers hurt. Do you guys want to see what she's doing? Do you want to check out her technique? It's one degree there. Yeah. Oh, making this difficult on me. Yeah, I know 44 up north sounds cold right now, but it is not to us. I mean, it's interesting because, like, obviously... is not cold? Not cold to them. Oh, yeah. So, like, it's interesting because, obviously, we've lived in Cleveland, so, like, I know what cold is. But once your body is adjusted to, like, 70s, 80s every day... I will say, I saw this guy in front of me. At the gas station today. He was from Ohio. His license plate was Portage, actually, which is Kent. And this dude had a hooded sweatshirt and then, like, a outside of a winter jacket to, like, block wind. And he was, like, <laughs> outside pumping his gas. And he was cold. Ohioan. Right? Doesn't lie. He was cold. That's where we live. Portage. Mm-hmm. Good old Portage. Where did you get your hoodie, Katie? This came from... Cursed Child. Child. I think in New York. I got it the one in New York. You want to see it better? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, they sell that at they sell that in the lobby for Chris Child. Yeah, I don't know if you can get it online. I guess this is like sand. It kind of feels like uh, moon sand. Mm-hmm. If anybody wants my weirdly patterned hoodie, it's from Old Navy. <laughs> Do you too want circles on your chest? Shop at OldNavy.com. I actually bought that same one, but I don't like how it um, fits me. It's real sandy. See, it's like now it feels like the 40s in like September and October when you're used to warm weather in Ohio, but it's starting to get cold again. Like that's what it feels like here. Yeah. Whereas I know, like, 40s in March is, like, oh, heat wave. Right, right, right. Yeah, I told Max today it felt like a brisk fall Ohio day. Yeah, it did. Like, if I would have worn, I did, we had to run a... Um, I think you're probably good. Yeah, we had to run a random errand today. Do you want to Look, it looks like sand. It feels like sand. Feels like sand. Let's go. Stir it in. You want to use? Two, three. Looks good. Spatula, spatula. Do you know what that's from? Do you know what that's from? Huh? The spatula salt. No. What? Blue's clues. No. From episode one of SpongeBob. I don't think that this has gone in the dryer yet. I don't know. We've washed it once. I think I hung dry. Hung dry. Hang dry. Hang dry. Hanged. Hang. Okay. Carrots are going in. Boop. Uh, the Swiss flag boxes are coming along. I am sorry. Uh, I swear to God, one of these days we will be on time with sending them out. Friends, it's been a, it's been a time. The time that we normally would have been getting those ready, we were we Ill. had COVID, so it it pushed us back a little bit, and I'm really sorry. Um, they are coming along, and I actually I'm gonna post an update this week so that everybody knows because I just like haven't posted it yet. What? I think it was Nikki. I said, I don't know if I can try these because they have catnip in them. While they're cooking, I'm going to Google it. And she said that it's in a lot of teas. This smells like tea. I'm not I'm not messing with you. It smells like tea. Oh, yeah, it does. Like chamomile or something. Mmm. Eat it. Okay. How much catnip? One tablespoon. I just feel bad because, like, it is my dream to one day get the Swish Swag boxes out on time. Maybe it'll happen this summer. <laughs> I told the girls, which is so funny because, like, we genuinely did have a theme months ago. Like, and I said, I was like, okay, guys, this time, like, as soon as these are out, we need to decide what the theme is and we're going to, like, design it right away. And then Tiffany was like, well, like, we did kind of do that the last time. And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> Can you angle it down again? Yeah. I'll stop stirring for a second. So it's carrots. And catnip. I think that's carrot shredded enough. Yeah, you're gonna cut it. It's okay. I guess that's true. I said, I don't know if you heard this from the bathroom. I said one of my children will love this. The other one will turn its turn his nose up at it. Yeah, I don't think Teddy will eat them, but we'll try. Maybe he'll maybe he'll like them. He does like crunchy treats though. I know. And it's like it has catnip in it. Yeah, true. Do you think that me and Ted could, like, sip tea together sometime? If I made him a catnip he tea? He totally drank that cat wine when we had it. That's <laughs> true. Meow Scato. Sam Gartley said catnip is in the mint family. Oh, that actually, I can smell that. I understand that. That's gotta be good, right? I think so. Okay. Wait, I'm just going to leave this down because I have more ingredients to put in here. Mix in egg, add a little water if the mixture looks too dry and isn't holding together. Add a little flour if the mixture looks too wet and sticky. 
sometimes the carrot can be more uh, more dry. Okay. I need an egg. What we did. Fun? Not all of them broke. So. Well, actually, we had some too, but I'm not sure. Ooh, what's today? Alexa, what's the date today? It's Sunday, January 23rd. That's today. Should I use one? Yeah, it's fine. We have the eggs for a late dinner. Sure. Can we keep this container to put the cracked ones in? Yeah. So that idea. container got all soaked. Okay. One egg roomy. I hate how it'll switch it to top chat instead of live chat. I know, like YouTube, you do not determine what is top to me, okay? All these comments are top. I don't wanna hear it. Right? Yeah. They had a lot of other, um, a lot of other cat treat options, but a lot of them were like, Seafoody, and we don't do seafood in this house even for our cats. So nope. that is why this recipe was chosen. But this website, and I put the link to the recipe for these treats, like in the description of the video. Um, they have a lot of other flavors. Katie asks, I love your figment. How long did you have to wait? <laughs> Five hours. Oh, yeah, truthfully, five hours. We waited five hours for him. And you know what? I That's regret no nothing. Regrets. He's not available anymore. So, I think I'm going to need some water. Too dry. I think it says cold water. Just a little bit. I can get it for you. Thanks, ma'am. Got my own assistant. Neither of them eat these, and then we have to eat them. Do any uh, swishers want to join a list of having treats mailed to them? Let's make a cat treat business. This could be fun. It'll be called Tiggy. It smells like dough. You can get egged. Look out. Should I put a little more water? What do you guys think? Tiny bit more? Tiny bit more. Tiny bit. <laughs> um, we actually didn't have snacks during that wait, but we ate as soon as we got them because it's like a food booth. So we like ordered the grilled cheese and tomato soup that they had for sale there with the figment popcorn bucket. Yeah, the end of the line had food rewards. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think that's good. Make sure I got the flour up on the bottom. Ew. Okay, what's next? Sprinkle fat surface with flour. Pat out dough to fourth inch thickness. Sprinkle dough with additional flour. Okay. Excuse me. Thanks. You got some more? Mm Sprinkle more flour. Okay. <laughs> Sprinkle it on the meat. This is sticky. Thank you. Put that on the counter. Thank you. <laughs> it's 
snowing. It's weird to like not roll it, you know? Mm hmm. What are you doing over there taking a phone break? We working. <laughs> tells you like a thickness like I don't know how else they would tell me but like I just don't like that because I'm not I'm not good at that stuff you know just not this looks like an omelet oh I didn't put my apron on Katie when is your next Disney race uh it is March 31st. And I'm doing it with her. Then April 2nd. Then April 3rd. Katie's doing the springtime surprise challenge mm -hmm. where she does all three races during the springtime race weekend. So it'll be like a total of like 19 some miles in the course of four days. Four days, yeah. Which isn't a dopey, but it'll feel like a dopey to me. Do you That's want good. your apron, or are you good? I think I'm done now. Okay. Do you want the pizza cutter? Oh, you have it. I think so. Do you think that's good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Pricked all... Oh, can I have a fork? Pricked all over with a fork. Hey, thanks. Should I sprinkle more flour on it? I think it's fine. Girl, I don't know. It's almost like making uh, strawberry cookies, <laughs> or like yeah, peanut butter. And except I think two is a little different. But... What if my cats like these so much that we can't ever buy store bought treats again? <laughs> Do you know what would be kind of fun to put in here? Is a little bit of cheese. Yeah. Some chicken. Okay. Then use pizza wheel to cut dough into half inch squares. Again with measurements I don't like. Yeah, I don't like this on my fingers. Sorry, it's gonna look really gross. We're just gonna brush that off screen there. Ew. Anybody else like not like things on their hands? I just don't. I just don't. <laughs> My friend shared a thing that says Mark's safe from having to watch Tom Brady play in another Super Bowl. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so half, how big would a half inch square be? Like that? As you can see, I'm making them so even. God, that's like way too big. Wait, they're probably gonna shrink, right? They'll probably shrink. I don't know if they do. What I can also always do, which I've had to learn to do because of my children, is I can snap them in half before I give it to them. I always gotta make sure I give them equal amounts of treats, so if I grab an odd number, I gotta crack that last one in half. You know? This is a pretty color. Okay. Ta-da! Oh no! Okay. Looks like Cheez-Its! <laughs> You're right. Mia, you know, I would say I didn't ask for your opinion, but I did ask for your opinion, so. <laughs> uh, um, let's see. 
Oh, Chrissy, I'm doing a 5K, a 10K, and a 10 miler. That's what this one is. Meg wants to convince me to do a half in the fall. So we'll She's going to do it. We'll see what happens. Arrange squares on prepared baking sheet. Can you hold this? Mm -hmm. It's hot. <gasps> You okay? <laughs> sorry, when I grabbed it here, it wasn't hot. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Katie. What? Use a spatula. Oh. Why? Then I can squirt you. I mean, you do you. Spatula, spatula. I think they're just supposed to be like, like it doesn't have to stay together, you know? Yeah. I think they're I know, I just figured it'd be easier. Probably correct. Now they're gonna be awful. I know. Will you eat one with me? No. What? I don't want one. Come on. No. Why? Come on, everybody. Make Meg eat one with me. This is called puff pastry. Yeah, and yeah. You're, you're married to a pup. Yeah, well, I'm not one. Sorry, you guys can't see me doing this right now, but I'm just arranging the Cheez-Its here. There's so many. I'm boring our listeners here. You gotta do what you gotta do. I know, I know, I know. Do you think I have enough room in there? Mm -hmm. Crafting it with love. If you get this sticky. corner, I can move this forward. Yes, ma'am. Bless you. <laughs> what if I just dropped the tray? <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. Whew. You're very greatly impressed. Should I use another sheet? Or bake two batches? Yeah, you could do two batches. I'm going to save that. And I'll rip these apart while I wait. Okay, so you put them in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they start to brown and then cool on the baking sheet. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. I'm going to continue to... 12 record. minutes, starting now. She is By so the way, you have one new notification. No, oh, Alexa, I see stop. the yellow light ring. I don't care about my notifications. <laughs> Mia, why? You're just pre-blessing. That's what I do. Also, Meg used to sneeze like 40 times in and an I started hour. taking allergy medicine. <laughs> yeah. She seriously used to wake up and sneeze also, 100 times a day. Sam Gartley, don't tell me that you've never eaten raw cookie dough with raw egg in it. Come on. I don't do that crap. <laughs> But I know I'm in extreme minority. <laughs> so I would advise making sure your dough is not sticky like I did because that's making this part more difficult. Especially in the middle. For some reason I got really mushy in the middle. Probably because I like pushed most there. It's my first time. Making cat treats. I hope uh, Pig wants to eat these. He's not feeling well. But they've been like, he's like 
been wanting treats though. So. This just looks like a mess right now. <laughs> what? Katie, how are you going out here eating treats for animals but not raw cookie dough? I don't know. The CDC says because don't eat raw cookie dough. It's true. Well, they also said they only quarantine for five days. <laughs> so, um, uh, because I saw what goes in this and it had a raw egg and I'm going to cook it and then I'm going to eat it as you should with a cookie. Except now Pillsbur Pillsbury, Pillsbury has made it safe to eat their cookie dough raw. Or cooked, which has been fun for me because now I can enjoy it and not feel like I'm gonna die, which is really nice. Oh, I totally eat raw cookie dough even if the flour. I mean, is not so does everybody else. I'm just weird. I realize it's not advised, but you know, I live dangerously. <laughs> I like to live on the edge. Should I move this up so yeah, that we, we can, can talk. see our faces? Yeah. I seriously am in love with this setup. It's so much better. Ooh, my hair got nuts off. Can you tuck it in there a little bit? Just tuck it under the hat. Thanks. Jen, yeah, actually, I believe you are correct, though. Well, you can pre-cook your flour and then eat the cookie dough if you want to. Have, has anyone ever made? Because I've done that. Meg has made homemade, like, edible cookie dough. Yeah. I was going to say homemade, quote, raw cookie dough. Can you move that cat? No. Nope. Thank you. I appreciate you. Catnip and silver vine. What? says it's a combination of catnip and silver vine. I don't know what that is. It's a natural plant that has a powerful effect on cats. What? Cat magic? Cat scratch fever, man. Whoa! Breaking things over here. Annihilating things. Fine, it is. Oh, fine. I am just exhausted today. Meg, yeah. you worked for like a million hours. You're allowed to be exhausted today. I hate working on Sundays. Now that song's in my head. I almost just gave a secret away. I like it. I feel like it's just it's gonna happen. No, it's no, it's happen. not. No, it's not. I woo! That was uh Dude, you know, I like had the urge to just like no talk about it. Not, and I can't. not now. No, no secrets. <laughs> <laughs> but it was close. That was close. Did I say oop? Just happens, just rolls off the tongue. You guys will find out soon. I'm sorry. You can't, I, we can't. We You'll got, find out soon. We got plans, okay? We have plans. Right? Yeah. Right? Oh my god, I thought we forgot to set an alarm. I set one. I know you did, but I looked up there and just saw temperature. I was scared. Do you guys want a kitchen tour? I'll show you. This half one. Whoa. Running into shit. It's, uh, you know. Hey, this is our kitchen. Woohoo! That's a little bit of living room. There's our stove. Here's our coffee stove. Coffee station. Here's our coffee station and our trash can. 
water cooler, our plates, more mugs. Those are like our, we don't use them mugs generally. It's actually my You, you Are Here collection, among other things. But mostly all like the Starbucks. This is our latest, our latest additions. Chicago and Illinois. Because they can't just make one. My favorite. It's probably this one. Scotland. I like that it has the train because we went on a train. And it also has bagpipes. And I feel like there's a Nessie. Oh no, there's a high a Highland Coo. There's a Nessie. Where? If she's white. Oh, here's Nessie. The Walk Miss Monster. Friends, I think I pulled a muscle and it's it's not nice. It's not nice. It hurts. I love the You Are Here mugs. I hate Florida water. Sam, I'm not answering your question about Instagram. Am I answering any questions? None. Oh, I do know you <laughs> found something. That's all I'll Where say. are you going? They want to see our magnets. Oh. Ooh. Do not tip this. Oh, it locks. That's nice. <laughs> Here's our magnets. <laughs> so many magnets. We, yeah, we genuinely hate Florida water. I mean, okay, I don't hate Florida I water. I hate Florida water. I don't hate Florida water, but here's the thing. It's bad. It's bad. But I also don't, like, I'm really picky about just To me, Florida water reminds me very much of Disney and going on vacation. So in that sense, Florida water is nostalgic. But if I have the option to not drink Florida water... I'm not going to drink Florida water. <laughs> oh. Oh, it was our save the date, actually. Woo! What's on the back? Hey. Right. Oh, it's Kate. Kate and I designed this. Kent, Ohio, October 7th. I really liked our, uh... Yeah. That's pretty. I'm trying to think what other fun things are on there. Everything on here is fun. Oh, this was... This is fun. Fun fact, we only made these for our wedding party. Uh -huh. Wait, yeah, we only made these for our wedding party because I wanted to make them for everybody and they ended up being way too much work. An enormous pain in the butt. But we made chocolate frog cards of ourselves and like put a whole little description and everything for our wedding. What does it say? I haven't read it for a long time. Megan and Katie Petras, time and on, on October 7th, 2016. That was so long ago. The couple met on Halloween in 2005 and have been inseparable ever since. Now that was a long time ago. Yeah. Megan, quite the talented young witch, became an animagus in only her fifth year. She fancies frol <laughs> frolicking the Hogwarts grounds in her fox form. Katie's best known for her mastery of the scouring charm, Scourgeify, and enjoys writing the occasional article for the Quibbler. Both are active members in the Being Division of the Department of the Regulation and Control of Magical Creatures under Werewolf Support Services. <laughs> All of that still applies. We're such nerds, I love it. Nerd alert. Nerd alert. What else is over here? All the fun stuff. The first ever picture of Teddy. But I think if you follow us on Instagram, that was we on just the recently day. posted it. But this is the very first photo we ever took of our teddy bear at PetSmart, mm -hmm. sitting in his little litter box. He's I love him so much. <laughs> Was that yesterday We've or the day had before? Him for ten years. Ten years. My dude. How did you decide what last name to take if that's something you're willing to share? 
Um, I don't know. We talked about it for a while. We talked about like. I was pretty combine. adamant on not taking Terwilliger because I'm not spelling that for the rest of my life. <laughs> we talked about. I was like, should we hyphenate? She's like, hell no. Um, I don't know. It was just something we came to agree upon. He was two when we got him, Teddy. Um, but I think that like. Katie, so like. Alexa, stop. Um, Katie's parents are divorced, so she's always kind of just been, like, closer to her mom's side of the family, but she had her dad's last name, so it just, like, felt weird for both of us to take that last name, when in reality, like, if we were gonna take Katie's last name, I kind of would have rather taken Kupak. I don't think they're right. Really? It's supposed to be wrong. Oh, yeah. Um, so that's also kind of why we, like, turned to Petrus. Is that, do you think that's accurate? Yeah. Totally. And, like, sometimes, you, I'm just going to say you don't get to choose your family, so. That's all I'm My mom and dad are very much Kate's mom and dad, so. Well, also, just, like, a large portion of one side of my family, like, we just don't talk. Right, and it's that last name, so, like, why would yeah. we join that name that's kind of why where like the, yeah. the thought process was so yeah. we were like yeah Petrus just felt mm -hmm. more like family really nice to shorten my name yeah really and, nice. yeah and she was like how about we hyphenate and I'm like absolutely not <laughs> <laughs> we did change Teddy's name his name was are you ready his name was Weasley name was I Weasley. actually wanted to keep it so his previous owner this kind of annoys me but his pre I'm, though I'm glad because we got him. Um, she moved to a place that didn't allow cats anymore, but allowed two cats. but allowed dogs. She had a dog and two cats. Two dogs. Two dogs, two cats. Um, Teddy was Weasley, and his brother was Dobby. Uh, so she was clearly a Potter fan. Um, Dobby had already gotten adopted, I believe. Yeah, I don't, um, know what, I don't know where We that never was. saw Dobby, but I wanted to keep Weasley. Katie was adamant about changing it, though, but that's fine. I like Teddy. It fits in. But it's just it's annoys me. Time. Like, why would you move to a place that doesn't allow for your whole family to move there? Yeah. But also, at the end of the day, I'm glad that we got Teddy, so. I mean, like, I wasn't against changing my name. I just, like... You no, know, I mean, we talked about even, like, creating a whole new last name. Yeah, know? we did, because that, that's, like, relatively common. I bet it's not even known. Mm -mm. Honestly, I would be, like, another five minutes. They smell good. They actually really do smell good. Yeah, I'm glad that we got him. Though, mm -hmm. honestly, like, I wonder what happened to Dobby. And what's interesting, in his adoption papers, like, there was contact information for his previous family. Mm -hmm. And I tried to contact her to get, like, kitten pictures of Teddy. Because I would just... We don't have them. I would just love to see kitten pictures of him. Um, but she never responded, which made me sad. Because I was like, he's our baby, and I would really love kitten pics but I think Mike tried to do that for like Christmas or my birthday or something. yeah I tried so hard to get them for her and I was gonna like make a little album but alas she never got back to me so. the email didn't bounce or anything which annoys me because like what if she got it and just like didn't send it right but maybe she was upset that she had like to had up. to give him up but also like you could have chosen somewhere else to live so don't know if I feel that bad for you but it's fine <laughs> Clearly, I don't hold back on my thoughts. That's why we love you, Mike. I love you, too. I wonder where Iggy is. Is he under our bed? Uh, I'm going to guess maybe. The blanket's still... So we have this heated he pad. He wasn't on the blanket. I know. Before. We have this heated pad that's like four pets, and you plug it in, and you can like put whatever temperature. And Teddy is obsessed with it. He loves it. And it's like really cold in our apartment today. 
because we tried to turn the heat on and it set the fire alarm off, so we're just bundling. <laughs> she saw them about turning the heat on. Yes. <laughs> Which has happened before. It happened the first time because we haven't... How long have we lived here? This will be in January. Uh, hold on. We're at like one and a half years. Okay. The first time we tried it, the fire alarm went off and we freaked out. So, like, we literally spent the majority of that winter just, like, under blankets, freezing our butts off. And then finally we tried it again and it was fine. So then we figured we could try it again now because it's cold again and it set it off again. So Which probably means we need to put a work order in. <laughs> but I Well, you know what? Having people come into our apartment. The reason also we didn't do that last year is because, like, no one was vaccinated. Like, I didn't want anybody in this apartment. Like, that wasn't even an option. We literally dealt with our apartment just being, like, Busted. completely falling apart. <laughs> do you remember when that was broken? Because of COVID. <gasps> The garbage disposal. The garbage disposal was broken for months. I forgot about that. So many lights were out. Yeah. The heater wouldn't work. Hey, buddy! Hi! You came out. Piggy, I got a treat for you in a little bit. It's cooking. <coughs> so sneezy. <coughs> you thought that was the sound of a can opening. Oh, maybe. Hey, Hi. Do you guys want to see his snotty little face? So snotty. Come here, baby. He might sneeze on you. Hi. Oh, you're okay. Say hi. Say hi. I don't feel good. Oh. Oh. Piggy, do you hear that? Those are Magic Kingdom fireworks. That's Magic Kingdom. That means it's a half hour till dinner time. Oh, your nose. Meg, do you know what it might be time for? Little Moses. Pedro. Oh. He's gonna hate me. Oh, see, no, I knew exactly what I did to the garbage disposal. Um, I, dro <laughs> I dropped one of our... My mom makes us these little rags like this. Ew, she crochets them. Such a gross wet one. And that fell down there, got oh, entangled fly. around all of the little blades, and it stopped working. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we literally never use the heat. I, we usually just deal with it, honestly. I'm just like, well, break out the heated blanket, it's fine, because it's like yeah. such a short period of time. Or even if like, like I just said, I have a t-shirt and a hoodie on, and like long pants, and then we'll sit on the couch under a blanket. And it's fine. Once you're out of the blanket and you're walking around, it's cold. And like the floor in the kitchen is really cold. Hi. But like now, like I'm moving and I'm fine. But. Oh, hi, Bobby. Can I have a kiss? Are you sure you want one? Yeah, I'll kiss his forehead. Come here, I love you. Oh, I love you so much. You're so soft. Check it out. What do you think, pig? Smells pretty good. Those look better. Whoa, careful. It says to let them cool on here, but I need to bake more. Do you I would just like careful let them cool on here. Here, you can put them right here. Oh, wow. Be careful. That was scary. Okay. Sam Gartley says, I've recently finally watched Encanto Obsessed. Oh. How would you rate it compared to other Disney movies? Oh my god, I give it a 12. <sighs> I think... So, like, because I am me, I separate out Pixar animation <laughs> from Disney animation. So, just comparing it to Disney animation, I think it's my favorite Disney animation film. Uh, Pixar's another story, though. That's all I'll say. But it's so good, though, too. It's just so good. It is so good. This smells really good. Yeah, they do smell really can good. Can you look up? Because I know I can eat catnip, but can I eat whatever the other thing's in there? Silver vine? Yeah. I don't 
feel like having the Rhea, you know? Catnip and silver vine are both plants that are safe for cats and humans. Yay! It just smells good. It regulates euphoric sensations in humans. What's that mean? It means you're going to get high. Are you serious? Maybe. I can't do that on camera. Onward. <gasps> is Onward. my favorite Pixar movie. So good. Onward so is my good. favorite Pixar movie. And Onward might be the only thing that beats Encanto lately. I love Onward so much. So much. Who said that? Live it up to the Hufflepuff name. Brandon. Brandon, you're here? So, like, I'm not a sibling, obviously, because I'm an only child, but surface pressure hits me hard, too, if you take out the whole sibling aspect, but just, like, family in general, absolutely relying on your every move, and friends sometimes, too. Surface pressure is such a good song. I also... Love that the Disney animators had to really push for Louisa to look the way that she did. Mm -hmm. And that they succeeded in their push. And also that kids are buying more Louisa merch than Isabel. Like, there's nothing wrong with Isabel, but guess what? Kids are going to relate to Louisa, too. What time is it? 8.07. Let's go, Katie. Sorry. There's so many little pieces. I, too, enjoy the D&D references in Onward. I just... Yeah, that is cool. I just love that movie so much. That is, like, that has been my comfort movie ever since it came out. Anytime I just, like, want to put on a Disney movie, I immediately go to Onward. We like to fall asleep to that so many times. So many times. Also really love Luca. Yeah. Because I feel like Luca has this like underlying coming out story to it. Without like being explicitly coming out. I agree that I think Encanto has it too. We're going to have so many cat treats, they're not going to be able to eat all of these. Freeze them. They keep up for three months. Iggy. Ah! Hi. Ah! Do you want to try one? Try it, buddy. Unsure. He's like, what the hell is this? I don't want this crap. Just try it. Try it. <laughs> Oh. We're going to be eating these. Oh, buddy, it's okay. <gasps> He's trying to get his way. He liked it. Oh, he rubbed on you. He's like, thanks, Mom, but it smells like crap. Successful. <laughs> Iggy, you're really selling this to the people, you know. Oh, soul is so good. I love soul. Onward was also the last movie Katie and I saw in the theaters before the pandemic. Sorry, I bumped you. Get the fuck out of my way in the kitchen. And then the. The first movie that we saw after that was, why am I blanking? It was a Disney movie. <sighs> Raya. Raya. That was like our treat to ourselves for being like 
fully vaccinated post two weeks or whatever it was supposed to be at the time. Two weeks post second vax. Bud, bud, bud. Here, let's let's show it on camera. Do you want to try this? Oh, sorry. Do you want to try this? Ooh. I made it for you. Does it taste like poop? So unsure. That's all I got, buddy. You want a bigger piece? You want to try it? You want to crunch it yourself? Go ahead. That's all I got. He's like, this is bogus. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Sorry, I don't like it. this he's like no <laughs> try this i know there's kibble well, on the ground old over there. kibble from this morning that's what he goes for what if i like put pieces of kibble over here hey look look at this <laughs> He's like, I cannot be tricked. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thanks, though. Well, this was a great endorsement of our project. Yeah, what the heck? Did you see all that cat hair just fall off of him? <laughs> no, it's on my knee. No, it's on the ground. <laughs> He's like, Mom, I'm hungry. Here. Yeah, those are real. He's like, trees, just huh? give me the temptations, lady. <laughs> oh. He was like, oh, but not that one. <laughs> so offended. Yeah, I made that for you with my heart and soul. Yes. It was kibble. Ah. Wow. Oh wait, one of the pieces are gone. You scooped that up on accident? He's like, no, I'm not dumb. Buddy, I made that for you because I love you. And we're done. If you don't eat it, your brother for sure is not going to eat it. Will you eat one with me? No. Come on. <sighs> so good our child looks it. Is it bad? <laughs> no. It just... <laughs> it's like, it tastes like a cheesy cracker or something at first. And then you get like this... A catnip. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> you better eat these. Look at them over my shoulder. <laughs> Nikki, come eat these treats I made for you. We still haven't unpacked from our one night little staycation at the boardwalk. At least it's only a duffel bag. Usually our entire uh, suitcase is there. Oops. Well, I apologize guys. The cats did not like them. Where's Teddy? He's... Oops, what the heck just happened? Oh, weird. Zoom in on the microwave. Where is he? He's in that. He was on the little heated mat. I'm gonna try. That one's really hard. I know, he's really congested. Daddy. He just needs a good sneeze. He's not on the mat. Theodore, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Hi. He just like, he just needs like one really good sneeze and then he's like a whole different cat. I feel bad. Because there's like literally nothing you can give them. He doesn't like it either. Um, our cats do not go in the sink or toilet for food. For water, I mean. God, I hope they don't go in there for food.
Iggy goes in the oh, sink. Oh, well, okay, work. the kitchen sink Iggy goes into for food, which is disgusting, and we try our best to keep it clean, but, like, it'll literally be, like, we put our dishes in there, and five minutes later, he's in there eating. God the knows food. what. Sometimes it's nothing. He's just, like, searching for food. Yeah. So, it's been fun. The cats hated him. But it was a cool idea. I wonder if they would like the ones with, like, tuna or something more, probably. Because, like, the flavor is more potent. Whatever. Now I have to eat these cat treats. Genuinely, does somebody want us to send them to you? Do you want to try them on your kids? <laughs> oh, God. No, I didn't try. I'm not. Look I'm at this not. winner. It's got a piece of catnip sticking out of it. Honestly, if somebody wants these, send us a message and we'll send you, you can some. have them. Because we have a whole other like, batch. I mean, it can't be too hard. In this one's too hard. Yeah, in the oven. The oven. Hey, why don't you try that again on the floor? What's that? Whoa, that looks delicious. You should really eat it. He's like, absolutely not, Mom. No, Mom. I do not want it. This is the most he's been out and about in a couple days, though, so I think he's starting to feel better. Can you feel it loosening up in your head? Can I pick you up? Oh. He likes being held. You smell good. Um, message us on Instagram. That's the easiest. It's easiest to keep track of. Actually, Patreon. <laughs> he looks like a deer in the headlights. It's okay, buddy. Cute family photo. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so annoyed. Ooh, your breast stinks. Thank you guys for um, watching another puff pastry failure. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, I bet I could make really good Cheez-Its. I mean, they weren't a failure in the sense they turned out the way they're supposed to. Try this one. No. Come on. No. Why? I made them. Are you going to deny me like our child did? Goodbye, everybody.